as soon as I heard Ty and the Megaphone, it was just like, oh, it's gonna be okay now. <laughs> Meet the Morris family. Take a look at this tape and you'll see why we're here. Hi, ABC. We're the Morris family from St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm Sandy. I'm the mom. I'm Catricia and I'm 15. And I'm Michael and I'm 12. Welcome to our home and daycare. Woo! When Sandy's two children were young, she was teaching in the St. Paul public school system. As a single divorced mom, she realized that there were a few daycare options that met her standards when my daughter was born, I wanted her to be at a place where it was developmentally appropriate. And I wasn't able to find that. Because I was already a teacher and had a degree in infant toddler development, I decided to start it on my own. Determined to provide her children and other kids with a multicultural learning environment, she quit her teaching job and started the Come and Play Daycare out of her own home. Ryan, what color is that? Yellow. Yellow. Adelita, what color is that? Yellow. Amarillo. We call her Tia Sandy because she's like everyone's aunt. It's not just babysitting or daycare, it is education as well. Whether it's ABCs, uh, learning Spanish, she loves these children like they're her own and she treats them as family. I wish I could come to Tia Sandy's every day. I love Tia Sandy. Finding affordable daycare where you really love to send your kids is priceless. Square. My husband was diagnosed with a very serious illness, and he currently is on the lung transplant list. Tia was our parachute and basically said, I don't even want you to mention that you want to pay me. She does that all the time. I know she does. You see families that you know are struggling, and the kids are here, and you just know that Tia makes the world a better place. This place means so much to so many people and everyone you talk to, it'll mean something a little bit different. And that makes it more than a house and it makes it more than a business. It's almost like a home <laughs> to hundreds and hundreds of people. Sandy is a role model and a huge asset to her daycare families, but she fears she will be shut down because of the much needed repairs on her 100 year old home. It's literally falling apart. The foundation is crumbling. If you spill something in the dining room, it goes right down into the basement. One half of the kitchen doesn't work, so we have cords going from the kitchen all the way upstairs to plug in. We don't use the front door at all because the porch is so unsafe. I'm up for relicensing, and I don't have the money to fix it. If I can't do it, they're going to close me down. It's frustrating because I want the best for all of my kids, not only Katrice and Michael, but I want the best for all of my kids, my daycare kids as well. And I can't provide that. It's so frustrating. If it couldn't get fixed and it had to be closed, it would be like tearing away a home from the community and for all the kids and the families that come here. ABC, If they don't fix that home, it's gonna close down. We can change that. Yep. We're gonna have a lot of help. We've actually got some special guests coming this week. Okay. Right, bus driver? Help, help. <laughs> so what do you say, can we do this? I think so. We're well, bringing in here, people, are you with me? Yeah, let's do it! Yeah, yeah! Drive bus, drive bus! <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Thanks, animal! All right, so we gotta use the back door. Okay, come on. As soon as I heard Ty and the Megaphone, it was just like, oh, it's gonna be okay now. Hi, <laughs> good morning. It was just amazing. It was beautiful. It meant that we were gonna have a new home and not be worried about the safety of daycare or having concerns that we're gonna be shut down because they're gonna take care of us. It doesn't just affect me, Reese and Michael, it affects all of us involved. I can see you, you keep an eye on the kids even now. Yeah. I mean, you've got your eye on, like, so many kids all the time. Yeah, we do. And Aniana is my Tia. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's Tia? I don't remember. Tia is aunt in Spanish. So is she a Tia to everybody? Yeah. Yes. yes. We all call her Tia. <laughs> she's family, she's caring, she's compassionate. 
She'll feed you, she'll watch you. She does everything for all these kids. She's done it for us since we were little babies, and she continues to do it even when we're 14, 16 years old. <laughs> wow. They're all my kids, they're all family. This is their other home. Well, here's the cool thing, okay? We are here, so all these guys can have a safe place. Thank you. And you guys can have a safe home. Okay, so you guys know what we do? Take down a house, put it back together. That's exactly right. <laughs> do you like painting? Maybe you can help out. Yeah! I can help out. Yeah. Here's what's even better. While we're doing all that, you guys are going on vacation. Whoa! You want to know where you're going? Where? You guys are going on vacation to a Disney cruise to the Western Caribbean! to Key West, Grand Cayman, Cozumel. I'm not kidding. You guys are going all those places. So here's what I think we ought to do. Get started, get Let's check out the house and get this thing started. Yeah. All right? Yeah. You ready for all this? Yeah.